high school football players. I want to give you a few tips to help you perform better at camps and showcases. Now, you're spending your time, your money, and your effort to go make an impression. So the first thing that I would tell you, and this is after I'm coming from a camp, okay, from hosting a camp and been to several camps. So I just want to give you a few of the things I noticed that could have helped some of the kids last weekend. And I want you to take advantage of this and use it so that you don't make the same mistakes, but instead can get your get a get a push and a, a, a foot forward and, and, and a step above the competition because you want to stand out. That's the purpose. Make sure you're prepared and that you're knowledgeable of where you are, where you're going, who's going to be there. Do your research. Know the people. Know one person's name. Okay. Make eye contact. Speak. Yes, sir. No, sir. Shake hands and look people in the eye. Now, the first thing I want to tell y'all is when it comes to the drills, the drills, combine drills are already set. So it's like knowing the questions to a test before you take it. You guys aren't studying. Go study how to perform the, ex the drills that are gonna be performed or asked of you to perform at the camp. Learn how to perform them. Learn how to get in the proper stance and the, use the proper technique to maximize your potential so that you run and perform your best. Next, another tip. Make sure you listen and follow instructions because as a coach, here's the thing. When you're going and evaluating talent and you're instructing them talent, of course you want people to be in shape and you want the ability to be there. But let's say you're not in shape, but you have the ability. I can tell you're athletic and you're coachable, you listen. Then I know as a coach, if, and I believe in my ability as a coach that I can get you in shape to perform. But if I come and I'm evaluating you and you don't listen to my instructions or you don't listen to the coach's instructions and you don't execute the drill the way it was instructed, whether you're in shape or not, as a coach, I'm going to say, oh, man, this kid, I, I can't trust him to do what we tell him to do. I can't trust that if he comes to our school, that all of a sudden he's gonna listen. He just showed me he don't listen. He don't follow instructions. So I can expect that. I can't teach him how to listen. I can tell him, I can help him, I can do all that, but you can't make somebody listen. You can't help somebody be a better listener, listener and follow instructions. That's on the individual. So show coaches that you're coachable and that you can listen. And you have those things that, that can't be coached so they don't doubt that you can be an asset to their program. Now, when you go to camps, make sure you work out before too, because y'all's conditioning is subpar, below average, borderline terrible. So you're an athlete. You guys that are going to these camps and showcases, especially that aren't ranked, don't have stars, aren't getting recruited, you're trying to make an impression. So you don't have the luxury to be out of shape. You should be in shape and working out all year round because you're because you're behind. You're trying to catch up. And you can't catch up when you're behind by not outworking the people in front of you. So get yourself in shape. Lift weights and run. Do the basic, do the basic weightlifting moves, do basic running and you would be in better shape. You shouldn't be tired after 240s. You shouldn't be tired after a warm up. You shouldn't be pulling up after a 40. All right, so follow instructions, do your research, be in shape. These are the keys to putting your best foot forward and representing yourself well and getting your name on the map and getting recognized and getting a payout from your time, effort, money that you're spending to go.
go get recognized. Nobody, no. You got to stand out. All right? You got to be outstanding to stand out. Y'all are subpar, and, and then you want to coach to wait or stay after 20 minutes to talk to you. For what? You showed them nothing of value. Nothing, because you got to go to that too. It's, it's a two-way street, a good deal. Both sides get something. So in a college thing, situation athletic, you get a scholarship, we get a good athlete, we get good performance, we get stats and results that'll help us win. If you pull up and you ain't showing me not one way with your athletic ability how you can help me win, what's in it for me? I know what I bring it to the table, this scholarship, this money to you guys, and y'all know that. But why you got me out here standing out here 10 minutes asking me all these doggone questions like, you about to get my goods and my value and you got nothing for me. You've shown me nothing. You've, you've done no homework. You've done no preparation. You're not in shape. You don't have your, you're not elite skills. You're not outstanding. And you want what I got. No, the key is, is to be, you're a product, you're, you're a, you're a, a, a talent. You have value is to have so much value that people come into you and want what you have. And then they'll say, oh, that's what I got for you. And you say, that's a good deal. And we shake hands and we go make magic happen. You know what I'm saying? And we get, and we get wins and get dubs. So that's my tips for you guys. I hope y'all y'all listen and take it, take it to heart and implement it. That's the key for this. Implement it, use it, and go out there and be great.